Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm ZegoTech00 and today we are gonna test the Abastma Antivirus versus the XXXATXE virus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get straight to it. As usual I'm gonna install the Abastma Antivirus and after it's gonna be done installing, I'm gonna test it with the XXXATXE virus so I'm gonna see you guys when the Abastma Antivirus will finish installing. Ok guys, so after around 5 minutes, the Avast Antivirus has finally finished installing. Now we are gonna get into the first test, so I'm gonna see you guys again in a bit. Ok guys, so I'm back, now we are gonna do the first test. So the first test is gonna be obviously with the Avast Antivirus protections all enabled as we can see they are all activated. And now I'm gonna run the x66.exe virus in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see, the xxx.exe virus has got detected and stopped by the Avastma antivirus, obviously. So with that, I guess that now we are gonna move on into the second test. Uh, okay guys, so the second test is gonna be with the Avastman's file sheet protection disabled, only this protection off, but all the rest of the protections enabled. Why I'm doing this test without the behavior shield or anything like that protection off? Well, it's because I didn't find any behavior sheet protection or something like that. So instead of that, I decided to disable just the file sheet protection. So yeah, now I'm gonna run the xxx.exe virus in 3, 2, 1. And let's see if Avast one will still protect us from this malware. Um, I'm like 50-50, I'm not sure. And yeah, I think, I think that... Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, of course, I'm gonna give credit. I'm also gonna credit the guy in the description. And yeah, I guess we got infected. So as we can see, yeah, unfortunately, Avast couldn't protect us anymore and we got infected. What I'm gonna try now to do is uh, basically a scan. I'm gonna try to do a scan and hopefully Avast one will uh, detect and stop this malware despite the fact that we got still infected maybe this malware is not deleting the MBR and maybe we can still save the system who knows so yeah uh, resolve please I would really appreciate that I'm gonna resolve this stuff then I'm also gonna resolve the malware problems and yeah hopefully we can still save the system I'm gonna be back when we are gonna get to the oh never mind we are getting now to the viruses and malware section well, I think I'm gonna be back when uh, the Avast one will detect this malware or if it's not gonna detect the malware. I'm, we are gonna be back in a very short time. I mean, I'm gonna be back. Okay guys, I'm back. So it seems like it's uh, done, the uh, viruses and malware scan. And it seems like the Avast one antivirus has detected the xxx.exe virus. We are gonna resolve it now. I mean, delete it basically, that's what it means. Something like that. Now we are gonna wait for the two threads to be secured, I guess. I mean quarantined or deleted, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for this thing to finish. I think it's gonna finish just now, so I, I don't think I'm gonna pause the video. I think I'm just gonna wait. And yeah, I'm really excited and curious to see if the system will still be affected or not. I mean, I wanna see the consequences of what happened now. Okay, it's 80% down. I think I'm gonna be back when this is 100%, so I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I was doing something, and right now when I returned to check the progress, it seems like the system is unfortunately restarting as we can see here. There we go. So yeah, the system is restarting as we can see. Okay, now it's uh, restarting. And okay, it seems like the system still boots up, so the MBR didn't get deleted, but now I'm not sure if the system is fine or not, because okay, I deleted the malware, technically I mean the Avastman probably quarantined them, I mean the XXX.exe malware, but I'm not sure if it got deleted or not, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, let's hope for the best, I guess. And uh, yeah, as we can see, unfortunately the user got it got uh, affected. As we can see, yeah, it's uh, it doesn't seem too good as we can see from this uh, user loading screen, I guess. I don't know how to call it. And yeah, we have a blank screen, nothing showing up. Oh, okay, I don't know what that CMD was for. 
Okay, so unfortunately it seems like the explorer is not loading. And I don't know if that magic is gonna work. Okay, it does work. Alright, I'm gonna try to launch uh, explorer.exe. If it's not working, then yeah, I guess the system got screwed up, unfortunately. And yeah, I think it, it did got screwed up. Oh, okay, never mind. The explorer launched now. And yeah, as you guys can see, even though, even though maybe Avast1 did something to the malware, maybe he did remove it. As we can see the consequences, uh, yeah, the system did got affected. Even though we did cut the malware, uh, the system still got affected by this malware. So yeah, as a conclusion, unfortunately Avast1 isn't a very good antivirus as the original Avast is. The Avast Premium or even the Avast Pre. Unfortunately, Avast One seems to be a bit worse, I guess, than the first. I mean, not the first version, but like the normal version. So yeah, in my conclusion: Avast One should include a behavior sheet, just like the normal Avast has. And yeah, as a conclusion, Avast One has failed this uh, test and uh, this experiment. So yeah. The final winner is xxx.exe virus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it here. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. I would super really appreciate it. We are very close to 2k subs, so I would really appreciate if you guys can uh, subscribe and like this video. That would really mean a lot to me. And yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See ya and stay healthy. And see you guys soon with new videos in the future. Bye bye.